Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, to another episode of Hermitcraft. H how you doing there, B Bamba Olof Tonight? <laughs> the crap your name is. <laughs> looking, looking stupid. Uh, I hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. I'm gonna take down this Christmas tree now. Uh, I didn't build it. I think, I think this is Halsey's present to me. Die right. Ugh, disgusting. I've been naughty again. However, oh, only one block of coal. I was hoping that there was more. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Dudes, uh, last, the last episode, we started the threatening war with the Vexes. We welcomed a new family member who's over there. Uh, Bumbo Vextoni into the family. And today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start this uh, episode off by doing, or trying to get quite a bit of uh, work done on the on the hole we need to plasticify the the hole he's sitting in and we need to add a scallium underneath now i'm gonna do this as part of the hermitcraft live stream day that uh, your time has already aired um so if you miss that next time make sure you don't miss it by following me on twitch uh, a lot of people are under the impression that i only stream pubg that's not correct i do stream a lot of pubg but i also occasionally uh, quite often lately have been streaming hermitcraft and other minecraft content as well i really do uh, i have really learned to enjoy it or got to enjoy it lately but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, try and fix this hole up as much as i have time for in the hermitcraft live stream day uh these hermitcraft live stream days if you don't know about them they are fairly common we try to do them once a month and it includes all the hermit or uh, a lot of hermits streaming in a succession so basically you can you can sit there for a full day and just like watch <laughs> watch hermits play minecraft it's pretty good. It's been good in the past. It's been like, it, it was it, it was a Hermitcraft livestream day when we did the Olaf uh, Bamboni, when we did the Rubber Duck, when we did Bambo Cactona was it even on a Hermitcraft livestream day. So like, memes are created on these days, so make sure you don't miss them in the future. But yeah, my plan is to replace all of this garbage, dirt uh, and stone and diorite and friggin' granite uh, down here. Um, for the plastic variants of, of it. So I'm gonna go with this... Uh, Light gray, I'm, I'm gonna have to mine out quite a bit of it, or make quite a bit of it. That is the plan that I'm gonna do. Now, of course, if you're watching this as a YouTube video, this is gonna be a quick, uh, quick uh, cutscene. But yeah, I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for the, for the lovely comments lately. Uh, I feel like we're getting good places in the Plastic Island, and I feel that's very important. We need to make this place feel complete, if you know what I mean. Uh, some people were saying that it was a little bit too much of the carpet action here. I don't think so. I think it's really good. Uh, also, a big suggestion. Something we gotta do in the future. With this whole thing that Scar and Cubfan created. A lot of people said create an escalium hand coming out of it. A fist. I really want to do that. So that's gonna be... Maybe we do that later this episode. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. But um, <clears throat> that's going to be a, a very good thing. So thank you guys so much for those uh, suggestions. Now, of course, dudes, if you enjoy Hermitcraft, make sure to uh, show me some love down below. Hit the like button and also write something in there. It, it's not it's not, a, it's not an Iskal video without a proper like painting. You, you, dudes, you dudes know this. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get started on this. And like I said, if you don't want to miss these uh, live events next time, make sure to uh, follow me on, twi uh, on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Iskal85. Did I mention that we create memes? When we do the Hermitcraft live stream, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I know a few of you have seen this from the actual live footage, but uh, for those of you who are just watching here on YouTube, check this out. We, 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 um, we did some changes to his eyes. We added or, or messed up a little bit of his eyebrow. And you know what? Maybe we should try... I just got an idea right now. What happens if I put this eyebrow outside his face? That's even better, right? That's even better. Maybe this one as well. <laughs> oh, you look so stupid, Bumblebex Stone Eyes. So stupid. We added a fist to him, something that Twitch chat uh, uh, suggested. Uh, they also suggested the, the bumpy eyes and stuff. So, uh, and the rounded head. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. We did, it was a team effort. We also, in that uh, live stream, <clears throat> made the whole thing plastic stone. Oh my goodness, so better, so much better, so much uh, better. And then we did the uh, scallium layers, and then someone said, "What if you corrode him? What if you corrode Bambovex Tonai?" And so we did. And I gotta say, is this good? <laughs> Look at how he is. He's completely, like, getting wrecked by the Iscalium. This is pretty crazy. 
I laughed so hard live on camera that I couldn't see. Like, my tears in my eyes were so salty that I, my laser eye was damaged and I had to go to the little bathroom and... Okay, anyway. <laughs> So freaking good. It's so freaking good. I'm so very happy with this. Let me know what you think. But now he truly looks trapped and he looks derpier than ever. He's truly a bumble. Um, then uh, we also added a, a little river. A little river down from the volcano down into this Escalium Lake. And this is best best shown during nighttime. But, but people keep sleeping because other people are online playing. So we'll just check it out like this. <clears throat> Up from the Ghast Honai. Gast Honai. Yeah, 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 baby. That is so good. It looks really, really nice. Really nice. Now, dudes, what I want to do is I want to... We, we started doing this a little bit in the stream as well, but ran out of time. And uh, <clears throat> I think I want to finish this right now. I want to work a little bit on the landscaping uh, around the place. Because we're actually getting... We're getting to a place where I'm, I'm starting to feel that the plastic island is coming together. Slowly but surely. Like, for the longest time, it's only ever been this little part over here. That's been something that I've been happy with, with the anchor and this. Uh, but now we got the crystal worked out. The gas makes more sense now. We got this big lake. The volcano we added kind of is, is now infused into the plastic. We added this four eye. Um, the areas that we got to work on right now is like over here we need. It needs a lot of work actually uh, for the landscapes to look good. And this place here is garbage. <laughs> Absolute terrible. My first sugar cane farm from the very first day, like almost a year ago now is still there. So I uh, got to fix that. Uh, that's the reason why I built the, the, the Vextoni over here, the new Bumbo Vextoni over here, because this gives me a reason to kind of stretch the place out over here. Now, uh, in the stream, like I said, we started a project that's going to help us a lot here, which was to start creating the road. If you do remember, ages ago we created this little path road over here, this road here. And <clears throat> I really like it. I like how straight it is. I like I like how like strict in design it is. And I want to try and make that road connect throughout my side of the island. So we extended it on stream a little bit over here. Uh, and I want to continue this pattern. I've kind of laid down where I want it to go. Um, it's going to basically end up where the volcano is now. And I got a pram for what we're going to do when we get over there as well. So stay tuned here for a second. Uh, and I'll tell you all about it. But basically... The idea is to get the... Oh, that's down to the plastic cave. How do I mark this out? Maybe I do this. Boop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. I will forget. But uh, <laughs> that's the entrance to the, the plastic biomes that we started. Which we also need to kind of finish or... <clears throat> I don't know if we need to finish it. I really like that project, but I would I would rather focus on trying to finish projects over ground here. If that makes a sense. But yeah. Uh, let me lay down this road. And one thing that we decided in the in the Twitch chat as well was that we're gonna go with the whole super strictness of this. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be very straight roads. And I think that makes sense because everything else is kind of random and weird. This gives you a sense of direction. If you if you think about it, it's like it's a road. Of course, it gives you a freaking sense of direction. You stupid idiot! This guy. Sorry. <laughs> as you guys as you guys know, I'm not the brightest in the drawer. I'm like the not the spoon, but the butter knife. All right. I made it. I made it. Let's take a look at this. I got the road worked out completely. I had to get some more sand and gravel. The, the struggles with the concrete, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that struggle with the concrete. But uh, <clears throat> never mind that. This is pretty cool. I did do some changes somewhere. Um, because remember, the, the green... Powder here is just laid out by Rendog, and that's not really what I... I didn't really want to have it like this from the beginning. I wanted it to be, like, uh, completely man-made. Completely man-made. But that's okay. Uh, we, we'll just uh, do some adjustments as we go here, I think, is the uh, is the best way to do it. Uh, I gotta move this beacon, but apart from that, this road is completely connected to over here. Um, did I run out of rockets? What an idiot I am. Oh no, sorry, not idiot. Butter knife. <laughs> Butter knife. Here we go. Here we go. New rockets. Let's take a look at this from above. Yeah, you see, that's, that's, oh, that's doing so much to it. It's looking so much more connected, the whole place. Let's stand on uh, Bumbo Olaf Tonai's head. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Originally, the plan was that, like, the road would be through the center here, but I think... We have so much stuff here that it's just going to look weird. Even if we do like a bridge. 
Like a bridge over troubled water. It's gonna look weird. So this is good. This is good. I, I like this. This is this is what I want to see. All right. So um, the next thing I think I want to do with this is try and make like a like an entrance into the volcano. I'm still not sure what I want to do inside the volcano. We have the diorite counter set up. The the redstone machine that counts how much diorite we burn through. Um, but it's kind of looking boring, and that's the problem, I think, with, with doing Plastic Fantastic. It's really hard for me, for me at least, to do interior design with this style. And I don't know why. I, I'm trying to figure it out, people. I'm trying to figure it out. But we'll do something like this and uh, see where this leads us. I think I'm just going to punch right through here, actually. And we should be... Yeah, yeah, we're already inside. Wow. I thought it would be farther... Farther farther than that um and it's actually at the correct height <laughs> that's pretty impressive so <clears throat> one thing that we could do here that i think will be pretty cool we'll bring the road down so that we are on the exact same high y level uh we'll do that right here boop boop and uh hmm, how do we do this eh, hip, hip. and boom boom and boom 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 yes okay we'll bring it down here oops hello these ghost blocks, man, they still gotta fix that. <clears throat> but I think Mojang, Mojang said that they were doing, that they were doing it. So we'll bring the road in right here, and I don't know. Depending on what we do with this, uh, with this uh, volcano interior, also depends on how we we make this road. Actually, you know what? I kind of wanted to go there, like so. Yeah, as I was saying, depending on what we uh, what we decide to do with the interior here, we'll kind of decide what. Uh, what this roads, uh, what this, what the road purpose purpose is here, but I'm kind of picturing that's much better. By the way, I'm kind of picturing that the road runs through and comes out on this side, and maybe we'll just have like a little, I don't know, I don't know if this should lead anywhere or just like poke out from here. That may not make any sense. Obviously, the best thing would be if it would be a round track so you could actually get around the whole thing, but I don't think that's possible with how I, like I said earlier, <laughs> with how I've laid out this. Uh, Scallium Lake out here, but just for the sense of completion and this is something I believe in a lot when you play Minecraft by the way with bigger projects Make small make small goals like oh, I'm gonna finish the road. I'm gonna make it uh, connected and Hello that way you will feel um, You'll feel like you're getting somewhere I think one of my issues with this plastic fantastic island project is that it's taken a long time for me to Get to a point where I feel that it's it's starting to feel like something else than just <laughs> random garbage because because I'm essentially building the entire terrain of Minecraft. I'm basically starting with nothing, right? Starting on a on a uh, air world, empty world. Everything has to be changed. Because of that, it's taken me a long time to like visualize and you know what I mean. You yeah, know what I mean. Let's do that as well. Yeah, I like that. So that that road could potentially connect depending on what we do in here. Seeing this now being a little bit more structured, maybe one thing that we want to do... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. It's easier for me to visualize this. Let's update our map and maybe... Yeah, that's how we had the road. And if we update this, we should be able to... Yes. Okay, see exactly what's going on. This I'll have to fly over there for. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. There we go. It's updating. Very nice. That's very... It's so nice when you do the Plastic Fantastic to see the... Oh, maybe we have... Yeah, maybe we have time to see the uh, the night turn here. Uh, yeah, that's the full road there. Okay. Looks a little bit weird there with the volcano. Maybe we have time to see this during night time now when Azuma is logged off. I'm not sure. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, yeah, you guys... There was split opinions about these, uh, this Escalium spinach over the lake here. Maybe we'll, Maybe we'll remove it. Um, <laughs> seeing how people, what people said during the stream, it's so, it's so nice to be streaming and talking with you guys live because you get a lot of, like, impressions and stuff at once. Can be kind of hard to, to take it all and, like, <laughs> sort through what's garbage and what's not garbage, but one thing, I, I think this looks fantastic. One thing it, it, it messes with, though, is the whole cleanliness and simplicity of the place. Oh, look at this place during nighttime. Look at this place during nighttime. Now we get to see the full effect of Mr. Bumbovex Tonai as he's trying to get out of his hole. Where he's stuck! You see how the, the lights are shining through there as well. Oh, another thing we did during the live stream day, by the way, was we changed the top of the volcano. So it's now more consistent the scallium colors. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, what was I going to say? 
I was gonna say the following. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe we make this entire area over here. Let's look at the map because that's why we updated the map. You stupid idiot. A stupid idiot. Maybe we take this entire place. Can I? Let's light this up a little bit. This entire place here. What if we would make this into a winter part of the bio, uh, of the island instead of having it downstairs? So we'd kind of bring that up here. That's something we need to think about. Something we we should we should give maybe a chance. The the trouble with it is that the this here is kind of like the tropics. There's no natural border into a winterland. Like there's no, I don't know, forest or whatever. Um, it could also be that it starts over here. I don't want to take down the snowman, even though it's no longer Christmas and stuff. I don't want to take down the snowman, you know? Um, that could be one thing that we could do there. Um, <clears throat> let's jump down. Let's, let's, let's spend some time here. Let's jump down and have a look at the, at the biomes that we created. Another thing that I was thinking about was, do we want to have the roads lit? Because we could totally light the roads up using uh, carpets. Uh, anyway, a <clears throat> lot of things to be answered. This is how far we got with the winter biome, and I think <laughs> it looks fantastic, this this combination of stuff. It looks very plastic as well. It could definitely work, you know? It could definitely work to, to make like a winter forest or whatever up there. Uh, Ren, could you, uh, <clears throat> do you remember our cook farm? Cook, cook, cook farm, cooker. The thing that you made out what, of andersite. What? The cow, yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm stuck, dude. <laughs> like, I'm stuck. Where, where are you, man? In the cooker. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Are you stuck in the cooker? This is bad. I always have ender pearls. I can't fly out of here. Can I? No, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting out of here, dude. Oh, wait, hang on. Here you... Rescue oh. mission. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi there. Hello. I'm a cow. Moo. Oh. Moo. Look at me. I'm pooping How out. How did you even get down here, dude? I don't Seriously? know. How did I... you even get down here? I don't here? know. I think I, I think I flew. I think I flew. And you know when you're flying like you're half... Oh. oh, there you go. Did you just that see that jump, pro dude? Skills, dude. What? That was pro skills. How did you do that? That jump was like two blocks high. What the crap? How, How did, did you do? I have what? no idea. Did we just I break wish I was Minecraft? Recording this. That what? was crazy, dude. Did we, did we just break Minecraft? How did I jump two blocks? Some... Oh. Someone's got to figure out how you did that. I think it's because there was this trapdoor above you. It must have, I don't know. That was so weird. You literally like a, like a worm, like a slimy caterpillar, sh like shriveled your way up through this little space over here, dude. dude. That was insane. It's, it's two and a half blocks. Two and a half blocks. All right. A community of Minecraft out there. <laughs> get, get, find out what, what I did <laughs> because I got no freaking clue. Find out what oh, the crap I, I did. I'd, I wish I'd recorded that, dude. I'd recorded it, dude. So I have it on camera. I have it on camera. Oh, but yeah, from I've your vision. I've never seen anyone swiggle through such a small little space in Minecraft. Two what and a half freak, block dude. jump, dude. Two and a half block. Listen, um... <clears throat> yeah. I've been working quite a bit on my base, and uh, we've got a new Bumbo over there. Oh, really? Bumbo Vex Tolnai. The yeah, Fesca. I've, I've, been, I've been cutting down spruce trees for four hours. It's been fun. It so sounds fun. Yeah, you've been online all day when I've been here. I also added this road and my base. I I, I gotta ask you. Like I start, I start. I'm starting to feel that it's uh, it's getting places now. It's starting to feel connected and and stuff. <laughs> Look at this stupid <laughs> face. <laughs> oh no! Is he so... wearing a little fe fedora? He's wearing a fez. Hold on. A fez. Oh, a fez. Well, let me see him from here. <laughs> Dude. What it's have good. you done? I don't know. I don't know how the mind works. I don't know how it... I think I think what it is, is I think about you and how your brain would yeah. look if it had a face every time I create a Bumbo. Yeah. And then I come up with creations like this, like Bumbo, Olaf, Tonai, and you know, it's yeah. weird. I mean, I do kind of relate to this guy, I must say. You know, <laughs> like... Stunning resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I gotta say though, like this is some nice stuff happening down here. We got the fogging going down. This is yeah. some advanced stuff, dude. Damn. Yeah. It's being it's being corrupted. This is, this is you you see, good. this is this is like this is good. in your interest as well. This is the Vex, stupid yeah. Vex people, Cub fan and, and Scarcel clan. We're obviously I oh, mean, yeah. I'm obviously turning their their god into an Escalian monster instead, and then we're gonna use the Escalian yeah. monster against them. You know what we're doing. I here. mean, I, I'd much rather worship this thing. 
to be honest. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's way cooler. <laughs> way cooler. Uh, it's, go mm. it's got very holy eyebrows. <laughs> very holy eyebrows. Yeah. Now, uh, I gotta uh, ask can you... I, I wanted yeah. to ask you something, my dude. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I, I, need, ooh, I need a bit of help. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm currently trying to collect all the items in Minecraft, double chest to them. Yeah. Uh, don't ask any questions, okay? Uh, Brain. Um, and I'm making this giant thing. It's a cacti farm. What do you think about this? I've, oh. I've read comments that it's ba that it's badly designed, but to me, it's popping. Look at the cacti's are popping, dude. It's popping yeah. up in here, man. What's happening? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. <clears throat> do you remember, like, episode five, Hermitcraft season five, on this guy's channel has over a hundred thousand views. It's called the Mega yeah. Cacti Farm, and it was later filled with yeah. a bamboo cacti on top of it. I have. I might have. I might have missed that episode. I might have missed that episode. You, okay. Oh, it's been out there for a year. It's been out there okay. for a year. Just saying. And I have a massive cacti farm right next to you, dude. What are you doing? Yeah. I have so much cacti. I'm throwing it away. Uh oh. And um, and the design of this is pretty. Oh. What have you done here, dude? This is super inefficient. <laughs> what was it? Why? I bet you you lose over 50% of the cacti because they fall onto other cacti when they fall down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a, in a classic cacti design farm like, like this or like the one I have, you will always lose yeah. a little bit of cacti. But this this feels pretty... That, I mean, it doesn't really matter because eventually you'll get, yeah. you, you won't need all this cacti anyway. But, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Can I get like a gold star for trying? At no, least? no. You can get a a piece of cobblestone for your collection. There you go. Okay. Well, I, I also I discovered. Recently, I recently lost my pet rock in lava, so this thanks. Oh. This will do actually. I discovered that you had placed a pet rock in a chest in my base. How long ago <laughs> did you do that? Because I found that last episode. Um. I did. Bumble Rokonai? Oh, yes! I bought it for you, my dude. I bought it for you. Oh, you bought it for Ages me? Ages ago. Yeah. I haven't seen it until last episode. I feel it a bit bad. It was a gift. It was a gift. Thank you for, thank you for the gift. Now, <clears throat> we're getting to that point. I, I, we, we, I've been meaning to discuss this with you. We're getting to that point of the season where, you know, you know, usually the seasons last a year or so and then they, then they end and a new season comes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we started this season, we started off with a competition, a challenge. This is why I'm now yeah. starting to pay a lot of attention to my plastic island. Because I gotta say, like, your island, you know, you know, it's good. I'm not gonna lie, oh. it's good. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It's good. It turned out pretty decent. Yeah, I like it. It's good. I like it. Did you see I that mean, I... Th I th yeah? Go I on. I've always got that worry in the back of my mind, though. Because every now and then when I fly over, like, that giant freaking Iscalium crystal that you built on the factory. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, that was a clever that was a clever choice, eh? I yeah, mean, that I... Me, that I, that makes me worried. I ain't here to lose this competition, yeah. dude. I ain't here to lose well, it. I still got some pranks that I'm going to do on my island that's just going to, you know, accelerate. You, you know how, how, how in a race, in Mario Kart, when you play Mario Kart... You're, yeah. you're behind mm -hmm. until the final lap, and then in the final curve, corner, you yeah, overtake yeah, yeah. the other person. And then you hit the booster thingy. And you're yeah, like, and then you win. Yeah. That's what I'm uh, doing now. It has started. And you gave me, like, you, you shot yourself in the foot a little bit with a double barrel shotgun. You know why? Why? You said to me, that factory Escal is ugly. And I was like, what do you mean? I mean, it's not ugly Escal, but it looks like a creation that's more, 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 more supposed to be on my side of the island. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when you said that, it, it, it clicked. Very, yeah. It it's clicked. It's a very netherboard build. It's a very, it was a very... It was a very... It was a very it like, right? It was. Because now, I mean, mm -hmm. this this is just an altar mm -hmm. of the Scallium Crystal right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. This worries me somewhat. Maybe yeah. we should get some pre-polling. You know, like in America, they do like pre-polling. Yeah. For the elections. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that in this video. Uh, excuse me. I, I'm trying to collect all the blocks in Minecraft. I, I'll have those. Thanks. <laughs> I just pooped them out. I Jeez. didn't want to see them anymore. But yeah, I, I'm going to do yeah. that. I'm going to do that in this video. A pre-poll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People Top get right to right corner of the video. Yes, yes. right now. I, I will forget. 
but, but I'm gonna try. I've realized that whilst you're being, you, you're like a, you're like a weird brain fart person, you know? Yeah. Mambo, Mambo is a spoon. I see myself as a butter knife fool. <laughs> Do you have butter knives okay. in England? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, knives that doesn't actually cut through anything else than butter. <laughs> yeah, and they also have this weird, like, little fork at the end of them. You know, they, like, have a little, I don't know, it's almost like a, a hook or something. Mm, not you know all what, of you them. Know what I'm talking about? No, I'm more like a smooth, smooth butter stone. But butter stone? Butter knife. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Well, we I just think, I think you're just getting nervous because you know that that pole is going to be uh, in the favor of uh, not Maybe. only the best looking hermit on the server, but also the most talented and also the best looking also. Did I, did I mention that? So that, that's me then. Why would, why would I get, I, why would I get I nervous mean, about I mean, that? Listen, listen, delusions of grandeur, my friend. <laughs> we all have them. We all have them. Okay. All right. And whatever. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was nice hanging out with Rendog for a little bit as well. Uh, we did some more stuff off camera, just chilling, mining, and doing all the things. It's been a while. This cacti farm is stupid. But anyway, let's do the pre-pull this episode. I finished the road. I actually spent another, like, two hours here, but it's kind of hard to explain what I've done. I've tried to flatten out the ground. I don't know if it's visible. Let me know in, in the comments if you can see that. But there was, like, bumps here. There was, like, dirt visible everywhere over here. Uh, over on this side specifically, there was like a dirt strip and stuff. I've tried to fix it up and flatten it up. Um, and this is the last little piece I'm going to do today. But uh, <clears throat> it's been a good day. It's been a good day. I hope you dudes have enjoyed this episode. I'm going to call it there. I have no idea uh, how long this video will be. A lot of people have been saying that you want a little bit shorter episodes. So I want to try and aim for that like 25 minutes in the future. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed like I said uh, Hit the like button if you did subscribe if you're new and I will see you dudes Don't forget to vote by the way in the poll. I'll see you dudes in the next episode